Hello students. Once again, I welcome you all to this um, virtual platform. And today is another subject on the screen. Wow. That is information and communication technology. That is the subject for today. And the topic for today's discussion is keyboarding and mouse skills. Keyboarding and mouse skills. I believe you are all doing well and we thank God for his mercies endureth forever in our lives. I hope you are still following every activity that we have been bringing you on this platform. Good. Then again, I still want to remind you of the evaluation question that we have been giving to you. It's very, very important. Practice will always make you perfect. Good. Now, before we continue, okay, with today's lesson, let's look at our learning objectives, okay? And I know you are ready for today's discussion as well. It reads, by the end of this lesson, students will be able to, one, use a typing software. One, use a typing software. Two, improve upon typing skills. Two, improve upon typing skills. Three, know and master the operations of the mouse. Three, know and master the operations of the mouse. Four, use the mouse to create a document. Four, use the mouse to create a document. Five, know the number of keys on a keyboard. Five, know the number of keys on a keyboard. I believe you are ready for us to go through this lesson as it has been displayed on the screen. Good. All right. So that is the introduction. Okay. So we have the mouse and the keyboard being used in this context. It reads, the mouse and the keyboard are two important input devices that are used to issue a command into the computer. I repeat, the mouse and the keyboard are two important input devices, okay, that are used to issue a command into the computer for what? Processing. Good. Now, when we say input device, what is an input device? Any device that enables the user to send data and instructions into the machine for processing. When we say a command, what is a command? A command is an instruction that directs the software to perform a specific task. When we say a computer, what is a computer? It is an electronic device, okay, that accepts data from the user, process it, and store it for future use. That becomes a, a computer, an electronic device. Are you following? Good. The keyboard as an input device is used for typing. So that tells you the components involved in typing. The first component that is well noted 
in typing is the keyboard. It's an input device also. It enables the user to send data and instructions into the machine for processing. Good. I believe you are following every activity that we are taking you through on this platform as we are doing it today. Good. Good. Now, that is a subtopic as it has been displayed. How do we improve our typing skills? How do we improve our typing skills? Don't forget that typing becomes an art. Is that okay? Good. Learning to type begins with becoming familiar with a keyboard used for the art. So it tells you something over here. Before you can learn how to type, you need to be familiar, is that okay, with the keyboard keys. I repeat again, before you know how to type, what you have to do is to become familiar with the keyboard keys so that you can use them to perform the acts. So I said typing is an act. Correct? Good. There are lots of designed programs that can assist us to master the keyboard in order to perfect the act of typing. Okay, now you can't just start by typing without you not knowing those keys on the keyboard. So there are other programs, okay, that needs to be installed on the machine. All these programs will enable you to be able to position your hands very well as you use your fingers to type. Examples of these programs are the Mavis Beacon and the Typing Tutor. These two important programs must be installed on the machine so that it will teach a user to know how to position the hands on the keyboard by trying to use the fingers in typing. Good. Let's move on and see what we have in our next slide. Good. All right. Now, on the display screen, we are just trying to tell you the importance of the installed programs, of these programs that it is typing. Is that okay? This program enables us to type letters and in case how many words can be typed in a minute. So if you want to move faster, okay, what you have to do is to be able to come out with those skills by using the program that has been installed. Earlier on, these programs were mentioned. And we said the programs are the Mavis Beacon and the Typing Tutor. They will teach you how you'll be able to use your fingers to type or input any letter, okay, into the machine. Good. Now let's continue. Good. Now, when we say typing, what is typing? As you can see it on the screen, typing is the process. Is that okay? So, you see, it's, it's using the general word. That is the ing. Any word that ends with ing are called gerund words in English language. So, when we say typing, Typing is a process. 
and as you type, you learn basic skills. So typing is the process of writing or inputting text by pressing. So before you can input the text, you need to press. So by pressing keys on a typewriter, computer keyboard, cell phone or calculator. By pressing all these keys on these components or these devices, you are trying to put text. You are trying to write something. So you are trying to send messages. Is that okay? You are trying to give instructions. So you are typing. So you are feeding the machine with data. You are feeding the machine with a lot of information so that you can start processing those information that has been tied onto the machine. It can be distinguished from other means of text input such as handwriting and speech recognition. Yes, text can be text can be in the form of letters, numbers, and other symbols. So, trying to input text, it is not only letters. It is not only numbers and it is not only symbols. It can be any of these. That explains text. Good. So when we talk about typing, it's an art. Is that okay? All right. Let's move on to our next slide and see what we have over there. Good. Now, a display on the screen is a guideline on how to type. Is that okay? To make the work very simple. Correct? So, to be able to type each letter correctly, the following guidelines must be considered. One, position yourself well before you begin to type. So, you don't need to sit anyhow. Correct? You need to position yourself very well before you begin to type. Don't forget, you are not in competition with anyone. That is what you have to understand. Two, position the fingers of both hands on the right keys on the keyboard. You don't need to position your hand anyhow. Is that okay? So you need to position your fingers on the right keys on the keyboard. Say the keys to yourself as your finger strikes the right keys. So when you do that, you keep on memorizing the um, letters. Is that okay? You keep on memorizing the letters and the keys on the keyboard. So you say to yourself, if you type A, you say A to yourself. Then always focus on typing the right keys rather than how fast you can type. Remember, and I am repeating this for the second time. You are not in competition with anyone. You are just competing yourself. And don't forget you are a beginner. You are a learner. So what you have to do is to humble yourself. Correct? Good. Constant practice typing as repeated typing will always lead you towards perfection. Always what you have to do is to practice because practice will make you perfect. When you start today, you don't stop. Tomorrow you continue, the next day you continue. So you become perfect. Then you can stop using those applications that needs to be installed on the machine to teach you how to type because you are now a perfect um, typer. Is that okay? Good, now let's move on and see what we have in our next slide. Good, now that is um, a picture, okay, on the screen for you. How to position your hand during um, typing. Is that okay? How, so you see the way the user has positioned their hand on the keys, on the keyboard, correct? So each of the fingers, okay, 
will have a letter to type. So you can see the two terms, okay? The key on the keyboard that they are supposed to be pressing on, okay, during the typing process. Good. All right, so you see on the screen how the user has been able to position um, the hand on the keyboard and the fingers on the keys on the keyboard. Is that okay? So the two times, correct? You know the key that we are supposed to um, press. Then we have the little finger, the middle finger, and all those fingers. So we have the A, S, D, F, the J, K, L, and then the column. Correct? So this is how you position your hand and the fingers on the keyboard as a beginner who is learning how to type. Good. Good. Now, a display of three users on your screen. We have the first user, the second user, and the third user. Now, let's look at how well they are positioned in front of their machines. Now, let's look at the first user. He is wrongly positioned in front of his machine. The second user, also wrongly positioned in front of his machine. But the third user, okay, is correctly positioned in front of his machine. Is that okay? Now, the first two users are going to have pins all over their body. Pins at their back, pins at their wrists, the arms, the neck area, the legs, they are going to have effect all over the body. Why? Because they are wrongly positioned in front of their machines. As compared to the third user who is positioned at an angle of what? 90 degrees. The third user is not going to have any pain or whatsoever. Okay? As compared to the first two users. So anytime you want to type, whether you are a beginner or not, you must make sure that you are positioned or seated at an angle of what, 90 degrees to avoid all these effects. In our subsequent lesson, I'll be taking you through economics, how working environment is being designed to fit the um, user or the worker. Then I also take you through hazards. Is that okay? Hazards, the effects of computer devices. Okay, the impacts. Is that okay? Good. I believe you are following the lesson as well. Good. Good. All right. Now you see, as it has been displayed on the screen, the way the user is being positioned, okay, in front of the machine to type, the user is so relaxed, very relaxed, okay, during typing process. And if you don't take care, you are going to have pains, pains on your wrists, at your back, and also, you are going to have pains around your neck area, okay, your neck and your legs as well, because this is a wrong way of we trying to position ourselves during typing process. As we are moving on, we will talk about hazards, okay, hazards associated with wrong use 
of computer devices and economics as well. Good. Now, let's look at the second user. We saw the first user earlier on. Very relaxed, okay, in front of the machine. And he's typing. Now, look at this user. Okay, well positioned, well seated, and he's typing. The eyes looking forward most of the time, always looking forward. The head should be up, shoulders should be relaxed, back erect and supported. Is that okay with the chair? Only moderate pressure at the front of the seat portion. Then we have the hands in line with the forearms. Is that okay? The hands in line with the forearms. Then monitor approximately at eye height and an arm's distance away. Reference material is easy to look at. Fit family on a foot rest. So this becomes an angle of 90 degrees during typing process. You don't need to sit anyhow like the first user we saw earlier on. Look at how the second user is being positioned. This is the correct way okay of typing when you have your machine in front of you good i hope and i believe you will never make a mistake when you are typing ask me the way you are going to sit the way you are going to position yourself after taking you through this a wonderful lesson Good. Now let's continue. Okay. The keyboard. What does the keyboard tell you in this context? The A L D F J L K. Okay. A L D F J K L. Keys on the keyboard are the keys you rest. Okay, your fingers when typing. These keys are known as the whole row keys. The first point of contact when you want to type. They are the keys that you must make sure that your fingers are well positioned on before typing process. It enables you to locate other keys on the keyboard. So they become the first point of contact. You can start with any other keys apart from the A, the S, the D, the F, the J, the K, and then the L keys on the keyboard and i repeat they are the whole row keys the very first keys that you need to place your hands on your fingers on before you start typing the f and then the j keys helps us to locate other keys on the keyboard good i believe you are learning something all right now let's move on and see what we have in the next slide. Good. Now, on the screen, we have ways that we can um, position fingers on the keyboard. So positioning of fingers on the keyboard. Okay. Sometimes you'll be asking questions and students will be wondering why is it like that? Ask in. The number of fingers that are usually typing, they will be wondering, they will be like, why are we saying we are not using our 10 fingers? The answer is right there on the screen. Typing uses nine of the 10 fingers. Whoa, and that is true. Both the right thumb and the left thumb perform the same function in typing. So it's one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you see the two term, okay? They perform the same function. So when typing, we use nine keys. The fingers must be rested on the home row keys when typing. And you saw the home row keys earlier on in the previous slide that we displayed. The A, the S, the D, the F, the J, the K, and then the L. Okay, plus those columns. They are the home row keys. They enable the user to locate any other key on the keyboard. So they become the first point of contact during typing process. Good. All right. So this one becomes the keyboard finger chart. The keyboard finger chart. Is that okay? The keyboard finger chart. So you have the Q, the A, the Z, W, S, X, all these letters. Okay. And um, the fingers that are used to press on during typing process. So you can see the two times. Is that okay? The key that they use to press is what? The space bar. Is that okay? So you have the home row keys at the left hand side and that of the right hand side. Good. All right, skills of holding the mouse. Skills of holding the mouse. How do we hold the mouse? Don't forget that the mouse is an input device. It is designed to always fit into the power. Okay, the mouse is used to perform the following activities. Pointing, selecting, and moving objects around the screen. Okay, in our subsequent lesson, I'll throw more light on pointing, selecting, and moving objects around the screen. There is a topic on that, and that is after this topic, we will discuss that. That talks about the mouse action. The mouse action. We will explain pointing, selecting, and moving objects around the screen using the mouse. So I repeat, the mouse is an input device that enables the user to send data and instruction into the computer for processing. And it is designed to fit into the palm. Is that okay? The palm. That becomes the palm. I follow it. Good. Good. Skills for holding the mouse. Okay. The skills that you need to do. Okay. Perform. So that you can hold the mouse very well. I hope you can see. That becomes a mouse. Is that okay? The mouse. How do we hold it? One, bury the mouse under the bar. So you bury it, okay, under the bar. That becomes your bar. So you bury the mouse under your bar. Two, two, the index finger must always be on the left button, as you can see, okay, on the left button. Correct, that is the um, left button. And the middle finger on the right button. The little finger, the middle finger on the right button. Rest your palm flexibly on the body of the mount. And that becomes the body of the mount, the entire body of the mount. Your thumb and the resting finger must support the sides. Okay, of the mouse, the thumb, as you can see it over there, that becomes the thumb, correct? Good. And the resting finger, okay, must always support the size of, so, so that it will never move around. Are you getting it now? Good. All right, so that becomes a display, okay, of the various users. As you see it on the screen, the way they have held the mouse. Okay, so you see 
the step that was displayed. And then the last one is this user. How the mounds have been buried under the power of the user. Good. So you can see the left side, okay, and then the right side. The left side is this, okay, and then the right side is this one, okay. So you see how it has been buried, okay, under the palm of the user. Wow, gradually we have come out with the end of today's lesson. But what did we learn? We learned that typing is the process of writing or inputting text by pressing keys on a typewriter or computer keyboard. Two, we learned about the importance of programs being installed on the machine. And finally, three, we also learned about the skills used in typing and the steps to follow. The skills used in typing and the steps to follow. Good. Wow, that is our evaluation question. Is that okay? It reads, describe the computer mouse. Whoa, this one is a simple question and I hope and I believe you can do it. Describe the computer mouse. Fellow students, listeners, this is the end of today's lesson. I believe you have learned a lot. I am still trying to encourage you. Never play with your books. And never ever think that you are still a failure. You can do it. Believe in yourself. Everything that you do, just believe in yourself. You can still make it. God be with you. Bye-bye.